First reading, Genesis chapter 2 verse 5 to 9, 15 to 17. There was as yet no wild bush on the earth, nor had any wild plant yet sprung up, for Yahweh God had not sent rain on the earth, nor was there any man to till the soil. Instead, water flowed out of the ground and watered all the surface of the soil. Yahweh God shaped man from the soil of the ground and blew the breath of life into his nostrils. And man became a living being. Yahweh God planted a garden in Eden, which is in the east. And there he put the man he had fashioned. From the soil, Yahweh God caused to grow every kind of tree, enticing to look at and good to eat, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yahweh God took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it. Then Yahweh God gave the man this command, You are free to eat of all the trees in the garden. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you are not. To eat. For, the day you eat of that, you are doomed to die. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 104 verse 1 to 2, 27 to 28, 29 to 30. Bless Yahweh, my soul, Yahweh, my God, how great you are! Clothed in majesty and splendor, wearing the light as a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent, they all depend upon you, to feed them when they need it. You provide the food they gather, your open hand gives them their fill. Turn away your face and they panic, take back their breath and they die and revert to dust. Send out your breath and life begins, you renew the face of the earth. Gospel, Mark chapter 7 verse 14 to 23. He called the people to him again and said, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that goes into someone from outside can make that person unclean. It is the things that come out of someone that make that person unclean. Anyone who has ears for listening should listen. When he had gone into the house, away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Even you, don't you understand? Can't you see that nothing that goes into someone from outside can make that person unclean? Because it goes not into the heart, but into the stomach and passes into the sewer, and he went on, it is what comes out of someone that makes that person unclean, for it is from within, from the heart, that evil intentions emerge, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, malice, deceit, indecency, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and make a person unclean.